against the backdrop of the spectacular Rocky Mountains on the outskirts of Colorado Springs, home to some of our nation's best and brightest at the United States Air Force Academy. And when they're not learning to fly, they're getting ready for battles on the gridiron. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Mountain West, the Colorado State Rams, taking on a fellow Mountain West foe, the Air Force Falcon. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pop. Hawkins will kick it away to start us off. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Rams' offense takes the field. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling the tip. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. We were talking to the defensive coaching staff coming into this game tonight, and they said, we really feel good about our pass rush. We feel like we've got guys up front that can win one-on-one. -on -one. We've got to let these guys hunt. We've got to let them eat. And they're doing it on the first play of the game, getting a sack. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. From the gun, running back on the move. They believe in that running game. Got six before he stopped at the 23. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. Now they'll run the draw. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. And the Rams racing to the line in the hurry-up. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. From the gun, the ground game. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. Now facing a third and long. Back to throw. It's Fowler Nicolosi. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back, get to the QB, get the sack. The Rams will punt it away on fourth down. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. So Air Force's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Sticks it in his belly. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. Now on the option. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. And the Falcons send out the punt unit. First boot of the day is on its way. He was called on three times in that loss last week. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and 
limiting his carries. Showed off just about every move in the book, except the forward move. He stopped for a short game. They try to pop a run on the draw. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And the Rams want to move quickly. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You can throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. The Rams will keep this drive going. It's first and 10. They've moved it to the 41. And that's good enough for first down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. And not great blocking up front. They're struggling to get the running game going. And tell you what, they got to find something. Last week, and he breaks into the open. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And the Rams have it with a first and ten. Leaves it with the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Pressure coming. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to it. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone, and you're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kicker. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. It is good! And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3 nothing. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Hey guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Georgia Tech has the lead right now, but if this team has taught us anything over the years, it's that no lead is safe inside Bobby Dodd Stadium. They're up by seven over Notre Dame. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Powers through the defender. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Second down coming up. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Didn't find a single crack to run through on the last two plays. Let's see if they go up top on third and ten. Trying to get to him. Going to try to get it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. The Falcons will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Running it back, it's Horton. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. They'll start this drive 60 yards in front of them from their own 40. Here's the handoff. Turns it on in midfield. Boy, did he look as if he was going to go. Gets it down to the 37. The Rams are in the hurry up. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Rams! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the 
Hallelujah Land. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. 10, Air Force, zero. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front, they could not protect him well enough. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Scanning the field, it's Boucher. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. He gets a block. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. He's looking to throw it. Makes his connection. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains and they're set up at the 41. Tempo and overdrive. And these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays up. And the Rams headed quickly to the line. From the shotgun, the inside kid. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Went to the running game on first down, now second down. grabbed in the backfield. It's Morrill. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. The Rams come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The give on the inside. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Colorado State. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 17, Air Force, zero. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. On the option, 
to say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. That's the end of the quarter, and Colorado State is on top. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Getting some heat. He'll pull it down and run. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. And the Falcons will line up to punt it away. He's got great speed. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. Coach is always hard about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And the Rams come to the line in the hurry up. Gets it out quickly. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. From the gun, running back gets to give. Aird is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. That is no good. Had a chance to make this lead 20, but we're still sitting on a 17. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. They just haven't been able to get anything going, and they better get started or it's going to get away from them, David. Yeah, and these are the weeks that you really wish that you were running for the tape. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll run the option. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. On the option. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Here comes the option. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll run the option. Now the toss. Got some room in into the goal line. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Air Force. Big time touchdown there to get some much needed momentum. You got to find something, right? Who are you going to go to to make that big play to get you back into it? You're not back in it yet. It's not, it's not tied. You're not there yet, but you're starting to inch back into it and get some momentum going. PAT unit on the field. For the extra point. 
And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. You've got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a high level. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Comes out throwing on first down. Looking to the big tight end. Wide open downfield. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. The Rams will hustle to the line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his round. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. No huddle offense through the line. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. If they don't pick up this third down, let's see if they trust their field goal kicker after the miss on the last drive. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Coming after it. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Well, he had nowhere to go with the ball, guys. And the defense is in nickel. Great job by the DBs in coverage. No receivers open. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Never a doubt. And now the lead is extended a little far. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Florida is just boat racing them right now, thanks to an offense that's putting up video game numbers. They're up by 21 over Kentucky. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on, now I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. And a good solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Running like he wants that football as he gets to the 37. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down. He'll ride his man on the option. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. To the air, it's Fowler Nicolosi. Swings it out to the flat. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. 
And the Rams want to crank the tempo. The play action fake. They're trying to get to it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. Well, this offensive line has got to do a better job. They've now given up way too many sacks. This poor quarterback is running for his life. They've got to shore up and do a better job on the offensive line. The Rams will try to pin them back with the punt. Timeout is called Timeout. by the receiving team. Not sure what that one's about. They bring the punter onto the field now. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Setting up the screen. Nice move to keep running. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. They're at their fastest tempo trying to get off this third down play. Looking to throw, it's Boucher. He's going to take off. Open space at the 25. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. He wants to throw. A shot toward the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown, Falcons. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop, go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. A strike downfield. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. That kind of play will send a surge of energy through your offense. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 40. Looking to move it through the air. Makes a connection. And it is a chunk play. A huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. He's going to pass. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Colorado State. The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spread them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And they take another look at the play with the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but 
decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Let's it fly. Receiver wasn't ready for the throw. Incomplete. Line getting set on second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. They'll go to the fullback. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's Horton. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O's. They'll leave it with him. And the defense doesn't let him get loose, and that's going to wrap things up here in the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And you know, in a day where the spread option and air raid are the offenses of choice, how nice is it to see the three yards and a cloud of dust approach? Although we've also seen some runs go for a lot longer. Physical offensive lines coupled with great backs is like a throwback to the olden days, and that's refreshing. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. The Falcons will line up to kick off and start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half, so now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together. Start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. Using his legs to buy some time. At the 35, he's got room. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Falcons come to the line with a new set of downs. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Here comes the offense on second down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And they went right back to him, and he went right back down. It's going to be third and ten. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. Well, the defense knew coming into the second half here, they were going to have to crank up the pass rush, right? They've got the lead. They're going to be seeing this quarterback drop back. How can you affect him? You've got to win up front one-on-one -on -one and get home, and they did there on third down. The Falcons line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Bringing it back, it's Horton. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Colorado State takes over the Ram. Offense returns to the field. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. And listen, I'm going to move this guy everywhere. He's in the slot this time, but I'm not going to let the defense understand where he's lining up so they can double-team him, put him in the slot, put him out wide. Either way, find this guy early and often. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. They're bringing heat. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. And the Rams moving quickly to the line. 
It's going to be tough on this defense containing this guy because he's got that sixth sense to get outside the pocket, and at that point, he's thrown it and hurting you, or you can take off and run. That time, able to get the first down. Big challenge for the defense moving forward. Catch inside the 30 and still running. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 150-yard mark. No doubt about it. What do we say? Big-time players make big plays in big games. The games don't get bigger than this for this team right here. And this guy, David, has shown up today. And it's so nice as a coach to have that dude that you know you can count on. He'll put up big numbers, and he's been carrying this offense. Handoff to the lone back. There to stop him after a pickup of one to the 22. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. To the air. It's Fowler Nicolosi. Feeling some heat. And he just wore out his welcome in the pocket, stayed in there way too long, a coverage sack for this defense. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. This field goal attempt is going to be an even 50-yarder. He boomed it through, a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Michigan came through with a lunch pail, hard hat performance, and the end result is an eye-opening road victory. And it's not so much that they won, it's more how they won, and the fact this wasn't ever really in question. 60 Number minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. The give to the big fullback. Makes him talk to the hand. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Here on second and short. Goes to the option. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. The option look. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. And the Falcons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. The back goes in motion on the option. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Now on the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Wants to throw. It's Busha. He fires one deep over the middle. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. We will see what this Colorado State offense can get done this time. Takes a handoff. It's Morrill. Not a lot of daylight. He gets one to the 32. The Rams want to pick up the tempo. Wants to throw on second down. Looking left. He's got it. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Well, you haven't seen a lot of incompletions from this guy now in his last two games out. Completed over 70% of his throws last week. He's doing it again in this game. As a head coach, you got to love the fact that your quarterback is dialed in. Let's see what they've got on second down.
They go to the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. From the gun, wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now, the seventh sack of the game. And the Rams decide to punt it away. Makes the catch and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stops, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Running back goes in motion. On the option. When you're a defense, you really stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. To the air, it's Boucher. Pressure coming. And they get the sack right out of the gate. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. The Falcons will call on their punt team. On to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Horton. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Guys, we'll have another peek at this Rams offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Trying to get to it. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. Another sack by this defense. But how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time. Still leading his team. Still staying positive. Still putting him in a good position to win this football game. The Rams will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll field the punt and try to make a big play. Excellent coverage and tackle that time, and that's how the third quarter comes to a close. That's the end of the quarter, and Colorado State is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Free snap motion in the backfield. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. They'll run the option. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? On the option. Quarterback on the keeper. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on four down by multiple possessions they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter they'll go for it on fourth down quarterback now on the run still looking and they got him a sack denies the try to convert on fourth down man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out they'll run this play from the pistol they'll go to the counter 
Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. And the Rams in the hurry up. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. They're going to run it. Shakes off the defender. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. They'll give it to him again. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Colorado State. And the stomping has commenced. They push out this lead in the fourth quarter, and it might be enough to give them that elusive second win of the season. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you gotta swing it back your way. 37. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Finds his tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Now after the short completion, it's second down. Back to throw, it's Busha. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Wants to throw on first down. Got him downfield. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Getting some heat. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game, and you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack at second and 12. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Carson. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On third and long, he has to throw for it. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Unloads to the wideout. And it's going to be batted down. They'll turn it over on downs. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. They'll run the counter. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Right back to it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Fires to the right. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Rams come to the line with a new set of downs. Power football with the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. To the air. It's Fowler Nicolosi. Unloads it left. It's caught downfield. That's a 20. He's got space. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And the Rams are moving quickly down the field. Out 
out of the gun. The running back has it. And into the end zone. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. They move the tight end all over. With the run on first and goal. Touchdown, Rams! And the pummeling has started. They're now in really good shape to get back into the win column as they extend the lead here late. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to tack one more on their score. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Florida is up big right now in what's shaping up to be a blowout they'll be talking about in Gainesville for some time. They're up by 20 over Kentucky. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. He'll pull it down on the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. This offense has a second down play. They'll run play action. Fires left. They are just working that sideline. Excellent footwork to stay in bounds. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't... He wants to take the top off. And is knocked away and incomplete the defensive back, staying in phase and batting it away. Now on second down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Extending the play. He's going to run it. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. Going up top on first down. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. Just does not like to be tackled, discarding guys and getting to the 21. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Back to pass, it's Busha. Coming after it. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of work to do before their next football game. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just You could tell they were dialed into what was going on, and now just throw another sack in the equation, hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Downfield and incomplete, the defense holds. Line gets set, first down. They keep it on the ground, clock is their friend. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Eight-yard pickup on first down, leaves them with second and short. Gonna run it, it's Morrill. Tackle is made at the 48. It's a pickup of five and enough for the first down. With the clock running, this should be the final play. There is nothing greater than a rivalry game unless you lose it. And in that case, there is nothing more miserable. I agree, Reese. And that's why rivalry games are so great, because you take the stats and you take the rankings and you take the records and you throw it all out the window. There's always tremendous effort and passion 
when we see these rival games. We certainly saw it today. And David, for this losing team, this one's going to sting for a while. It does, but it's so strange because I always feel the same way. I'm like, there's no chance that they have a chance to upset them. But then you go, it's a rivalry game. The, 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 the vitriol, the hate, it's already there. And so it means so much in sports. Who's motivated for these games? So you do get up. It does become a good game, even when it's not a good game on paper. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.